Stage five will take the riders from Edson to Spruce Grove, 204.2 kilometers. There are two sprints along this course, but what's key is that the fact they will have to negotiate some dirt roads. Well, really, this is a complete change from the last two stages. This is overall almost entirely flat with one finish circuit at the end, but this is going to be all about those sprint points and all about that finish line. Well, there are six riders in the lead, but now it's been whittled down to four as two have kind of fallen off the base. And as we take a look at the leaders right now, the four in the lead, Lasse Norman Hansen of the Cannondale Garmin team, also in the group, Tom Zerbel of Optum, Derek St. John of Silver, and Fred Rodriguez of Jelly Belly. Look at the, the moisture on the road. But this is what happened the last dirt section. Last Norman Hansen taking the chance to be on his own. We're looking at the peloton now. You can't tell who the riders are. I mean, no one can see each other's numbers. You can't see the, the, the bikes are covered in dirt. Everyone has a rain jacket on. This is the kind of moment where things could go really wrong for a rider who has hopes of a high GC placing after tomorrow. The Norwegian rider has decided to chase down Hansen if he can. There's the peloton coming in. As they come in onto McLeod and then make their way towards Central Park. And, and in that lead group is the man wearing the yellow. This is Sven Eric Bistrom, and now he's being told by the commissaire that, well, he may have made a wrong turn somewhere along the way. Oh, and he is saying the flagman went in the wrong direction. Oh, my goodness. What an error for Bistrom if he missed the turn. He's following the police car in front of him. He's following, and the entire peloton is right behind him. This is absolutely a disaster. Because he was signaled incorrectly. incorrectly. See the man in yellow saying, go right, go right. And then the rest of the field, led by Trek Factory Racing, followed Bistrom. Unbelievable at this point, coming into Spruce Grove. And the only guy who is controlled, there's the flagman uh, sending Hansen. He has no idea what's going on behind him. That's Laurent DJ as he is still on course. He was able to find his way back. He's on King Street. Now he's looking around. He's wondering whether or not it's over. But Hansen has stopped now. We hear there he's stopped waiting to find out what is going on. And now he's been directed. All those riders understand what Hansen was doing when he was off the front. He was winning this race as a member of an earlier, earlier breakaway, attacking that group and getting away in the dirt section, riding solo all the way into downtown. They were probably not going to catch him. That gap was still well over a minute, enough time for him to stay away, and Hansen now on his way back in. So the jerseys remain the same after stage five. So Darren has brought the forest to Spruce Grove. Is that what you did here? Yeah. So Darren went out, cut down some trees, went into his